there is a difference between walls and boundaries. It's like good and good enough, so you gotta be great, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Doing what I love for life, and I'll pay the price, and not stopping even if the shit kills me, even if it kills me. Hi everyone and welcome to Matt Grun Talks. This is episode 106 and my name is Matthias Grunbori, aka Matt Grun, and I'm the founder of the HubSpot agency I Go Moon. And here I share my scaling up journey building this company from nothing to something. And with me, of course, I have the one and only Svea Malina Lanshoff, my co-host. <laughs> and you have your birthday week. Yeah, you know that because it's our fourth take or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that would have been my line, Matthias. But yeah, it's All it's right. my birthday week, that's fine. Yes. And um I, I, I figured out a cool line, something like, you know, even the shitty weather doesn't bother me because it's my birthday on Friday, so yeah, but also from my side, welcome to Macron Talks number 106. And if you're new here, this is where entrepreneurship runs smack into reality. Because Matthias over there, who just introduced himself, he is sharing his entrepreneurial journey and yeah, a lot of things about it. So we have a framework in place because we have actually three episodes per week. Want to share with our newcomers what we're talking about. Yes, I will. And uh, welcome all the newcomers. You are the most important uh, people here today. Uh, we have a framework for uh, this vlog and it looks like this. Monday, every Monday, which is today, uh, we talk about self-development. I'm sharing my own self-development journey, growing as a human being and a leader. And every Wednesday, I share everything I'm learning in the entrepreneurial process, scaling up by Go Moon. And every Friday, I share my weekly inventory, things that I could have done different, uh, stuff I have learned. And I also share the, I'm also sharing the victories of the week. And um, yeah. And I call this your diary because you're yes. going to ask about that now. Yeah, I, yes. I don't know. At some episode, like 50 episodes ago, I started calling it your diary and now it's a thing. It's Matthias' diary, even though the whole vlog is a diary. But, you know, the Friday episodes are more about what actually happened in this week. And talking about that, actually, last week in your self-inventory, um, you shared about something you could have done better. And it was actually connected to, um, I think, when you were stressed out in a stressful situation and you didn't you didn't uh, act it the way you would have liked to act it. And uh, we wanted to talk um, more about this today. Um, but let's yeah. start at the beginning. I mean, obviously... You, you have had situations like this, but I'm going to start anyways with, have you been in situations where you were stressed and maybe took it out on someone else? Yes, uh, 100% for sure. And um, But I think it's also another dimension of uh, the question because, uh, I mean, you can be very stressed and then you, uh, as you said, uh, you, you took it out on someone else. Yeah. Um, but but I think also, I mean, and when, when you ask that question, it's almost like, uh, you know, you said something, right? Mm. You said something to someone, yeah. you, you took it out. But I mean, uh, you could also, you know, take it out without even saying it. Yeah, it doesn't right? have to be it, active, it just, can be it, passive too, it, right? It, exactly. Yeah. You could just be having a negative, stressed uh um, present. Yeah, and that affects everyone, in my opinion. Or yeah. presence. Presence. The word is maybe presence. Yeah, presence. Yeah. 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 Um, so uh, yes, yes, for sure. And I think as a leader, it's super important to, I mean, check yourself before you wreck yourself, okay. or <laughs> check check yourself before you wreck the team. Yeah. And uh, and uh, yes. But um, when you just said, like, it doesn't always have to be actively that you are actually like you know mean to someone or saying something um to someone um you can also be passive but um do you have examples how you would act in situations like that where you're maybe stressed or you're not acting the way you would like to yes i i think uh, that is what i actually shared uh, in the last self inventory um and i i, I want to uh, talk a little bit more about it um and uh, I, I want to give you an example by saying that there is a difference between walls and boundaries. Mm -hmm. Wa walls 
uh, they are solid and rigid. Like you know, inside uh, this building there is wall. Yeah. You can you I mean you can you can touch them, and um, they keep me you know trapped inside here, protecting me from the the storm. The horrible <laughs> horrible. Uh, uh, November weather that is coming yeah. for us here in, in, in Sweden. And uh, but boundaries, they, they are changeable and you can constantly update your boundaries. Mm -hmm. uh, boundaries is boundaries are almost like software, mm -hmm. you know, and they, they are running you and uh, the the walls, they are like infrastructure or like hardware. If we talk IT, yeah, IT I, lo I love that compar here. comparison from someone who's running uh, a HubSpot agency. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it makes and, sense. I, I get what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's always up to me uh, how closed or open-hearted I will be at any specific time. Mm. I mean, boundaries let me decide what behavior is acceptable mm. around me in my relationships, and um, and not only from others, but also from myself. Yeah, important point. Yes. Yes. I mean, definitely because uh, boundaries they go. I mean, both in, in both ways, directions. Yeah. Yes, both direction. <laughs> like um, communication is always two hundred percent, right? Mm. You have hundred percent responsibility. I have a hundred percent responsibility yeah. uh, to make sure that we understand each other and having the right boundaries in our in our relationship. Yeah. So um, and um, so so today every day I I, I can lead or communicate. Uh, I, I make I, I make a decision. Mm -hmm. I'm responsible for that. So I can communicate with love instead of, uh, you know, uh, hos hostility. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it, it doesn't, you know, so if I if I when I when I make that decision, it will definitely affect if you know, my re relationship with ship relationships with friends, colleagues or customers. Mm -hmm. And I mean, how they unfold. And that's the core of our culture code that I've been talking about before our success principles here at Igo Moon. Uh, and we have 18 success principles and uh, that teaches us exactly that. Yeah. What attitudes and behaviors we bring to the table every day. Yeah. And um, so, and, and um, so, so I, as I decide, as I decide what is, what is and isn't acceptable for me in my relationship, every day I need to remind myself not to set up the, the stress walls. This is where I started. Like, if I'm, you, you were asking me if I was stressed and took it out. Uh, on on anyone and and i can make a decision to not set up these stress walls yeah even if there is a lot on the plate and because when i you know when i put up walls i get a closed heart i, I you know i maybe start protect myself it's a defense mechanism mm. and then what happens i you know i'm shutting off my communication mm. and and or i'm not uh, communicate i i maybe you and i we communicate, but I I don't uh, communicate in a nice way. Yeah. You know, say what you mean. Uh, don't uh, be mean when you say it. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we said that uh, a couple of episodes ago in in, in a similar um, on a similar topic. Uh, so instead, I need to remind myself to communicate with an with an open heart and and set healthy boundaries uh, around me that doesn't close everyone everyone out. Yeah, I think that that's uh, the, the important point here. Now I understand why I did this X course explaining what the difference is between boundaries and walls, because um, just to summarize how I understand, like boundaries are important and I think they always should be in place. But like you said, they are both ways and they are adjustable depending on uh, the situation or what you've learned in the process. But walls on the other side are the negative thing, right? That you just build up subconsciously maybe and that actually block people out, that no one in. Um, when you are doing this, but, yeah? Yes, but I, something that is very important is that, you know, when I started to discover 
you know, and set boundaries in my life. I kind of started with saying yes or no. Mm. You know, you, like boundaries, they could be very like, how should I say, like you, you, the boundaries could become walls because, mm. you know, if you ask me something, then I can say no or yes in different ways. True, yeah. And if if you ask me something and I tell and I, I answer you or I tell you no, okay. I can you know I, I can shut it down and you can feel that oh that was not nice. Yes, good you clarified that. Yeah. Yeah. So so that means then you then you are building walls. Yes. Instead of setting healthy boundaries. Yes. Yeah. Now now I fully understand what you mean. L yeah. Like uh, you, you can ask, let's say you can ask me something mm -hmm. you want me and I feel I have a lot here on my table mm -hmm. on my plate and you come to me and say, hey, can you please do this? Yeah. And then I say, no, mm -hmm. but but I can say and, and, I, I, and if you ask me and I, I can say something like, OK, OK, when uh, Right now, I'm very focused on this yeah. one, like recruiting people is the, the top priority for me now. I really need to, you know, invest the time in, in this. When do we need to have this task finished? Yes. And then we could start having a conversation and, and, and like boundaries. A lot of people, they think like putting up boundaries is all about like you know, protecting yourself you, and yeah, uh, not let anyone. You know exactly, yeah. but you, when you, when you, you know, the more you learn about communication, is, and it comes to self-awareness because you can handle any situation if you can feel the feelings of others involved. Yeah, I think that's the one of the biggest takeaways from this episode. One, that's what I. That's what what I'm trying to share. Yeah, and I just have this this thing stuck in my head that I asked you to say it because when you said about you know when someone approaches you and you say no, it's obviously very different than when you say sorry. I'm focused on this right now. Let's take it later, because I think you also say that in English, but in German we say the tone makes the music, and I think that yeah. that really applies to this. And it's it is such a difference. It's still the same answer that you're giving. Like no, I'm I'm not going to talk about this right now. But you say it with respect and understanding and. Yeah, and, and like we said in, in the beginning, um, especially sensitive people, and I think you and me are both sensitive people, we we also get affected by the behavior of other people. When I enter a room, I usually feel immediately like, oh, something is tense here, that's not a good mood. Yeah, exactly. And that just, yeah, like you said, affects the whole team. That's obviously not what you want. Um, but I have one more question about when you are in these situations. Is it usually like this that you feel this right away? Like, oh, that, that sounded a bit harsh? Or is it rather that later at the end of the day or something, you feel, oh, that situation might have not been ideal. How is that for you? Both. Okay. Any trend? Is it or is it very even? No, it's it's both. Yeah. But but everything is all everything boils down to the self awareness, what you do, what kind of action you take when you uh, when you, uh, you know, maybe you start reflecting up on what happened and what did I say? Um, yeah. And, you know, maybe sometimes there's a lot of things going on and, and, and you can, you know, maybe it hits you later that night that, okay, ah, uh, oh, that didn't really came out in a nice way. Yeah. <clears throat> and, um, and I mean, then you can act on it. So th that's self-awareness. And, 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 and the thing is, for me, the ability, you know, to get that moment of clarity, even if it's instant or later, mm -hmm. that's what I mean uh, when I said that you can handle any situation, like uh, if you can feel the feelings of others involved in, in, in um, the situation, you are you know having in front of you yeah. and so yeah i think that's that's another really good real world example why self-awareness and also reflection is so important especially when you're leading other people and you just influence them in one way or another 
<clears throat> yes, and I think, uh, and uh, so. Yeah, there was nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was not yeah, sure. Yeah, I was thinking about your question <laughs> yeah. because, uh, I mean, it's so important to say that you know I'm I'm a human being and I'm. I'm not uh, a saint or a guru mm. that is perfect and I do things perfectly every day. Um, but you're working so, on it and you are on the you, journey. I'm working yeah. on it and, and I'm... Um, I'm um, yeah, and I think that's, that's the important yeah. thing. Like no one expects expect anyone to be perfect, but as long as you're trying and you are doing progress and like I said, you are aware. I also think it's not... Um, that important if you immediately realize it or later, but as long as you do realize it and reflect on your behavior, I think that's that's the key long term to to make yeah. progress and maybe deal and, situation uh, in the future uh, better. And and the thing is the 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 point that I really want to share is is in communication in teamwork, the difference with walls and boundaries like. I did like, you know, I was talking about physical real walls, yeah. but if if you and I communicate with each other, you can get a feeling of having that I put up a wall between you and me. Yeah. But if I have, you know, boundaries and I'm 100% sure what what kind of the like what kind of in our in our relationship there is things that belongs to you and there is things that belongs to me and and, and the boundaries you know the more self esteem i have uh, and the better understanding i have of myself the easier it gets for me to have boundaries that is actually you know moving depending because if i if you come to me mm. and I, I i i and i i get an experience that you are sad you know, then I have the maybe I have a different approach. Yeah, you may prioritize but, something else then in that moment, right? No, I mean, but it's it's more about it's not what I say, mm. but it's my entire body language yeah. and maybe the energy. Yes, I I you know I I I come to I bring to the conversation. Yeah. Like if then I m might be starting more on the on the listening side. Mm. Oh, what, what what happened here? Like, mm. and then I might set the boundary, some boundaries over here, but mm. I can also set some boundaries boundaries over here. Yeah, um, yeah, mm. I can talk about this forever, <laughs> and I, I, I think it's uh, a like the it's a super important. Um, success recipe to, to to understand as a leader yes and i'm sure we have self-awareness yeah and uh, and communication uh, yes i think communication other... we had like in one of the first episodes we already mentioned that for the first time and it's been a red line throughout the whole journey so far but yeah um i agree i think it's an important and interesting topic and you can look at this from so many angles and i'm sure we will do that again in another episode but I think for today, we've got some really good input. And I would say let's wrap this up and see yeah. you in the next episode on Wednesday. And everyone watching, thank you if you made it so far. Um, we hope that you got something out of this. And if you like what we're doing, maybe you want to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Also ring the bell so you get notified and leave a comment if you want to know something or give us some feedback. We would love that. <laughs> yeah really good and uh yeah see you in the next one thanks for watching and see you in the um, next one bye bye thank you bye